Welcome to this episode of John's Journal. And today I'm going to take a little bit of a step away from exactly what we've been doing in the past. We're still in Nicholas Cresswell's journal, but I thought I would go through um, and try to pick up all the references to food that we've kind of either talked about so far or um, passed over because, you know, sometimes I've I am not reading the entire thing, but just kind of skipping over and kind of getting to the highlights or specific theme content within the within the journal. But uh, food is one that's always near and dear to my heart. And so uh, on my stomach. And so I thought I would just go through and kind of hit as many of these food references as I can these are foods he's going to eat or foods that he might eat. Um, unfortunately, you know, most diaries don't tell you what they eat every meal. Um, there is William Byrd, the, I can't remember which one he is, um, the third or something. He, he mentions a lot of food in his diary. Apparently he's, he's ruled by his stomach. So he tells us about his food, but in uh, in Nicholas Cresswell, we get to talk about food occasionally. So um, in he does talk about food when he's still in England. On his shipboard uh, activities, he talks about drinking a can of grog. Uh, so that's good. Uh, let's see. Uh, Friday, April twenty second, uh, he said dined on stockfish and potatoes, and then he says this fish is a is cured in the frost without salt. Before it is boiled, they beat it with iron hammers against the iron stock to soften it. General, a general dish on Fridays and is reckoned a great delicacy, but to me it is none, for I hate the smell of it. Okay, so there he talks about stockfish, and we've done a whole stockfish episode, basically almost based upon that as the main reading. Um... He gets on shore, so he doesn't do a lot more talking about food because he's sick most of the time. Probably the reason why he didn't want a stockfish was just he's feeling sick anyway. Um, um, he's not eating this, but he's in Virginia. He's just landed. He says, uh, find the land sandy and barren to all appearances, but it produces excellent garden stuff. Green peas are in plenty. And he says green peas because... There are ground pea or regular um, field peas also. They are not green, and really they're just beans. May 23rd, 1774. Captain Knox and I went to Mrs. Marsden, a widow lady in the neighborhood, got some very indifferent strawberries and cherries. Um, let's see. No food, no food, nothing. Where's the next reference? It's kind of hard to find them all here with my little flags. Um, here he's uh, in Maryland. He says, uh, dined at Piscataway, a small town 16 miles from Port Tobacco, are victuals badly dressed and sour. And then he talks about Madeira wine, but badly dressed and sour. Hmm. I wonder if they like that sour flavor or I don't know. June 5th, left Marlboro early this morning, crossed the uh, Pux, Puxtichen River. I don't know. He spells things all kinds of crazy ways. Um, at Mount Pleasant Ferry, some good land after this river, breakfasted at Rawlings, a public house, but in this country called Ordinaries. Indeed, they have not their name for nothing for they are ordinary enough. Have had either bacon or chicken every meal since I came into the country. If I still continue this way, I will be grown over with bristles or feathers. So we find out that chicken and bacon are popular. And, you know, I don't know if I... And he probably means by bacon. He might mean just like pork and ham. Um... They they didn't use bacon for as specific uh, a a cut and 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 uh, uh, cooking method as we do. Thursday, July fourteenth, 
an election for Burgesses in town. Their, electri- their elections are annual. There are three candidates. The poll is over in about two hours and conducted with great order and regularity. The members, Colonel George Washington and Major Bedwater, the candidates gave the populace a hogshead of toddy, what we call punch in England. So not quite food, but um, they're... I think that's pretty a pretty funny election with, you know, now we have laws that say, you know, the bars can't be open while the polls are open. It's, it's completely the opposite in the time period. Uh, here we are in um, July, um, July 26th, 1774, and he visits a barbecue. These barbecues are hogs, roasted whole. This is under a large tree. And then talks about entertainment and all that good stuff. Um, Here we go. And this is when he's on board going down to the uh, West Indies. Caught a dolphin. And he means a caught dolphin fish. Um... The flesh is very white, but eats dry. So they're eating, and that's, that's uh, also today referred to as a mahi-mahi. Um, now this is probably, yes, this is West Indies. So the food's different here. And he says, um, uh, you know, everything is different. The, the land is rich, but all the, all the he says, um, Everything is no, is new. I know neither bush nor produce. Dined on roasted kid. So here in the West Indies, he has goat. Um, probably not. I've not seen any references to that in um, in the colonies. Not not to say it didn't happen, but I haven't seen any. Um, went to church but won't go any more to hear their political sermons. Captain Budcombe's brig sailed today. By her I sent letters uh, and a box with some sweetmeats and coconuts to my friends. So he's does not eating these, but he's sending food, uh, food like snacks or interesting foods back to his friends in England. And just a couple more references uh, in this part of the book. Um, He talks about celebrations on July 7th. So a lot of times there's this uh, time period, um, July 6th, July 7th, that's um, more of more Christmas time celebration than say December 25th. Um, It's related. I think it's epiphany or whatever, but uh, here we go. they have this they have this uh cake this great big party and there's a cake that's there and um then down here it says um a cold supper this is part of the part of the celebration the party a cold supper punch wines coffee chocolate but no tea um and then the men chiefly with scotch and irish so there we have, and that probably means whiskey. So we've got uh, a cold supper, and we've got drinks at this party, along with our cake. And then here we're going to kind of stop, I think, for a while, um, and we'll touch back on foods when he's not in civilization anymore. Uh, dined at Marsden's on roasted swan. The flesh appears black, but it eats very well. Okay. So those are all, you can see all those little tags there, all the food references. He does have some references to, you know, eating, drinking tea with people. Um, I didn't mention, I didn't break out all those because they're just, we don't know when he says that, does he mean, you know, just snack time, tea time, or does he specifically mean the drink? He probably means, you know, specifically the drink. Uh, But there are the, you know, occasional references to, uh, drinking tea, drinking coffee, uh, just in a in a setting. He doesn't really explain any anything more than that. It's great to be able to dig into the journals and get a taste 
<laughs> for the food in the journals. Sometimes it's really, really important. A lot of these journals have to do with privations, not having something. And so when they do have food, they tend to talk about it. Um, there's a food references, a lot of food references in um, the Private Yankee Doodle, the, uh, the memoirs of Joseph Paul Martin. There are many, many food references here in uh, the Colonel James Smith occurrences. Not so much in something like Peter Calm. He doesn't mention food nearly as much. So some journals are filled with food and it's really important. Other journals, meh, you know, not, not terribly important. Um, so we will touch on food again and maybe I'll kind of draw up some uh, food conclusions, uh, especially when we touch back. We'll go through um, Nicholas Cresswell's Adventures in the Backcountry in probably a couple of different sessions and I'll end that and we'll talk about all the specific food things or maybe we'll cover them as we go go along uh, because the backcountry and food is kind of important. Thanks for joining me today on this uh, little journey through the journals and it's uh, it's it's fun. It's I always you know need to to keep myself uh, active and flowing through. This is really gives me a chance to also think through the connections between uh, the different journals, which I don't generally tend to do a whole lot of. Uh, usually, I'm just kind of concentrating in one, but here I'm kind of bringing different ones together so we can um, compare and contrast them. So that's that's a. a a great way of studying the journals and understanding them better. Thanks for being part of Townsend's Plus. Hope you have a wonderful day and thanks for watching.